Should I start now? Yes. Yes, sir. Um, okay. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Sadia Saqib, and today I will be presenting my name assignment. So the origins of my name. So as you guys know, my name is Sadia, and Sadia was the name of the Prophet Sallallahu foster mother, and her full name was Hadima Sadia. The origins of the name are in both Arabic and Hebrew. Some sources claim that it originates from the Hebrew word Sa'ad, which means support and God has supported. So who named me? The person who named me was my mother. The reason she named me was because she um, she always loved that name. She thought that Halima Sadia was a very lucky woman to be able to take care of the Prophet, peace be upon him. She spent so much time with him, and my mother thinks she must have been a very lucky woman to do that. So she named me after that. So the meaning of my name. Um, so according to Quranic names, um, my name, um, Sadia, means cheerful, blessed, and happy. So what I like most about my name, I personally really like the reason my parents, my mom specifically named me. I think that it's a very, it's very honorable to be named after a person who took care of the greatest prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I also like the way it sounds with my last name and because I like the initials, they're both SS. Also, my father's name is Saqib, which means piercing um, brightness. And this is from Surah Tariq. And I think it goes really well with my name. So most close relations. Um, so next I'm gonna be presenting my most important relations. So for me, I have a lot of different, very important relations. Um, and each person obviously has their own, but the strongest relations that I think are the people who are most close to you. So I believe that parents and siblings are the strongest relations. I also think that friends are also very important. And finally, teachers are a very important relation as well. So five reasons. Um, you know your parents and siblings the most closely. They are also, um, they also know you the best as well. We spend so much time with them that makes our relationship with them very strong. Your parents specifically are the most important relationship. This is because they raise you. They spend so much of their time and their life trying to give you good characters and good values. And you're, and, and you're also where you are today because of their hard work. Siblings are also a very important relationship because they often know you really well. Because they are close to you in age, they are easy to connect with. You also have more lighthearted jokes with them and fun with siblings because they have such a strong relationship with you. Friends are also a very important relationship. This is because they influence a lot of our actions. And so having good friends is very important for developing good character, habits, and morals. And on the side here, I have a hadith by the Prophet Wasallam, And he said, a man is influenced by the faith of his friends. Therefore, be careful of whom you befriend. And lastly, we have teachers. Teachers are a very important relationship as well. We are all students and we all know the relationship between a student and a teacher. The, this relationship provides priceless knowledge to students and helps them grow as a person. Teachers at school, as well as teachers of religion, are very important for all students. How should my attitude be towards these relationships? Because these relationships are so important for the development of a person, we need to, we need to know how to treat these relationships because without them, we cannot be the best person we can be. What is very important for all these relationships is respect. We need to respect everyone, even our siblings. Another thing we need to remember is to be honest with these relationships and to trust them as they are the ones that will help us in times of need. Jazakallah for watching.